Church, it's me Grace at nandito ako ngayon sa Gen Bliss building and we are about to start the Speak Out workshop with Mr. and Miss Ron and Joyce Titular and I know you guys are excited. Ako din naman, syempre sobrang excited. Yung workshop na to, hindi lang ito about media missions, we will also figure out how you could improve and find your own voice. So, tara na! You have a God who is a God of more than just second chances. God of third, fourth, fifth. If He, in all His greatness, can give you another chance, how come you can't give yourself? You're not there to entertain per se, you are there to connect. Because once you get that in your head and you forget about being a star, you will be a more effective host. Media is the language of today. And uh, for us to really do what we're called to do and reach this generation, we need to know how to speak media the way this generation appreciates it. Hey Church, it's me Grace and we are here again live at COG TV. At kasama ko po ngayon ang ating mga naging speaker earlier at speak out here at Gen Bless Sanctuary. Sila lang naman, sila Mr. and Miss. Ron and Joyce Titular and I am so excited to have this privilege to interview them. So, kamusta naman po? Uh, we're so uh, thankful, Grace, uh, to COG here in Dasmarinas for inviting us over. It was m as much a blessing to us as we hope we were a blessing to the church today. Thank you for sa privilege din kasi ano po yung um, experience nila as you are um, sharing po your knowledge uh, to the uh, to the group of people. Well, uh, para sa akin kasi, we've been teaching this for about 10, 11 years, but what what struck me about um, your church and the youth that uh, attended is they're very expressive. Yung ginawa nating exercise na parang, can you say this sentence with three different parang expressions or three different messages actually ang sinasabi mo? Usually, when we have that exercise, our students have a difficult time. I was so surprised that your talent in this church uh, really picked up so quickly and we did not have a hard time uh, teaching and training. So I was very excited to see that. Wow. Uh, so thank you very much, Dimpo. Kasi the reason why most of them po is, is have that such energy, the expressions and all, it's because they are so excited because we are going to be with people who has that experience in terms of media. Pero isa po kasi dun sa um, topic natin for today that is that struck me personally is media missions kasi po yun yung isang bagay that every one of us has access katulad nga po nung sinabi nyo kanina sir Ron uh, we do have access to social media pero one question na gusto kong malaman po is if all of us all of the person inside the church po exercises the use of media how do you think po it will affect the church? How could it change the church? I think it would change the church very much, but first of all, we have to learn as Christians how to effectively use media, uh, especially internet media, because it's very different from uh, traditional media, television, radio, and, and uh, a lot of people are not aware of exactly how internet media and social media works. So a lot of times, things get on to social media and it goes viral without people even knowing. Uh, it's almost um, taken for granted. I, I used the phrase earlier, sometimes I call it casual media because most people don't really understand the full effect yes. or the full impact that uh, internet media has. But we are already in that age. We're in Web 3.0 for, for all uh, intents and purposes. So if everyone in the church were able to use it effectively, 
And when we say media missions, uh, we're not simply saying you're a media, you're in the media ministry, right? but you are effectively using media as a tool, a missionary tool, to reach out. Uh, and uh, I mentioned it earlier in the uh, talk that I gave that we've discovered that more than 90% of all media produced by church people and church groups only stays inside the church and is directed towards church people. But we're, here we have the perfect tool to use to speak out and reach out. And if Christians could learn how to use that and do that effectively, um, this is the day and age where the word will really cover the entire earth. Thank you very much po sa um, workshop. We really learned a lot and at the same time, sana po talaga, we will also be praying for the part two of the workshop kasi excited kami matutunan muli yung mga hindi pa namin na dinig sa inyo for today. At the same time, sobrang sobrang dami po namin natutunan spiritually and in this ministry that we, na tinatahak po namin ngayon. Thank you very much po. We will also pray for uh, the studio. Para naman, uh, <laughs> para naman malaman namin kung kailan at saan po ang workshop. <laughs> thank you po. God bless po. God bless, thank you. You're all blessed guys. At the same time, meron po tayong isang attendee, delegate na makakausap today regarding her experience sa pag ng workshop. Hi! It's so cold in here. <laughs> Hello po, kamusta? Ay, mabuti, malamig, pero ang init ng pagtanggap ng uh, no, COG Dasma sa amin. So, Ate Nikki, ano yung feeling mo nung narinig mo pa lang na si um, Miss and Mr. Joyce and Ron Titular yung magiging speaker for this workshop today? Uh, we were super excited kasi um, uh, you have tapped high caliber experts uh, in hosting mm -hmm. and in public speaking kaya uh, we were very sure na marami kaming matutunan along with my uh, super supportive husband uh -huh. who is somewhere here <laughs> <laughs> ano yung isang bagay na parang tumatak sa inyong puso doon sa workshop well, I've learned a lot from uh, the way we should speak uh, to time management and the way we should dress. <laughs> Pero yung pinaka uh, na enjoy namin or natutunan ko is take away and cast out all the negative thoughts that you have in mind. Siyempre sa ating mga kababaihan, di ba? Yes. Hilig natin yan. Gusto natin yan. Expert tayo dyan. Yung we, we nurse and rehearse in our minds yung mga negative thoughts. Di ko kaya, ayoko na, give up na ako. Pero, ayan, if you have God in you, your uh, um, number one encourager and you surround yourself with uh, godly people, aba, posibleng bumangon, posibleng bumawi at umarangkada uli kay Jesus, ba? At gamitin yung talento, gamitin ang uh, 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 talento sa pagsasalita upang uh, ipalaganap to proclaim Jesus in this world. Amen. Pero Ate Nikki, ito yung last question ko. ba? from COG Pampanga po kayo. How will this workshop affect COG Pampanga? Well, how will this uh, workshop affect uh, our fellow believers yes. in Pampanga? Well, uh, magsisimula ito sa amin. Magsisimula namin sa mga sarili namin. We will be equipping ourselves, encouraging ourselves through God's Word, of course. And we will share it in the church. Kung pa, lahat ng natutunan namin, kung papaano uh, magsalita sa publiko, kung papaano uh, i-present yung sarili mo, uh, at anumang mga medium na natutunan namin to share God's Word. Especially in social media. Uh, buong church chata namin may Facebook. <laughs> diba? So gamitin ito para mag-post ng mga beautiful quotes or uh, mga word of God, ganyan. Nadinig na nga natin kung ano nga ba ang takeaways ng ating delegate at kung papaano ba ito makakapagpalagu pa ng ministry. And guys, we again are praying for a workshop number two 
with our speakers and let us also pray whatever it is that they're praying for if ever they could create or make their own studio para ma-share pa yung expertise yung knowledge na meron sila we will also pray for that and i know hindi kayo naka-attend and do not worry dahil doon pa lang sa interview natin Makiki maririnig nyo na, makikita nyo na yung brief summary. Kung ano ba yung dapat kong matutunan? Ano ba yung dapat kong gawin as someone that is that has access to social media, that has access to Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Ano bang dapat kong gawin as a Christian? Kahit hindi ka pa Christiano, let's start right now because we want to reach you and we want to be someone that could reach out to more people out there. So again, guys, maraming maraming salamat sa pagtutok. This is Grace from COG TV. Bye-bye muna!